All right, so here I am at Walmart. I'm gonna try my $5 family meals, $4 family meals, maybe try to get two of them for eight or 10 here at Walmart instead of at the Dollar Tree. See what we can find. There's gonna be a lot more obviously fresh produce, so that might come in handy. And I don't know what I'm gonna get when I go in there, so I'm just gonna see what I can come up with and from the recipes that I have already found or something that I might wanna try and see what we can find. I am going to try to keep sustainability in mind as best as I can and buy low waste products, but we'll see what we can do here. So yeah, I found myself in the rice aisle again. I recently saw a recipe for a paella, so I really wanted to try it. The recipe called for a fancier rice, but that just wasn't in the budget today. So we're gonna go with the long grain and move on to the next one. So at this point, I had decided that I was also going to make for my second meal, some type of taco, Mexican style meal. So I'm looking for an item that will be able to be used in both my paella as well as the Mexican style. The salsa was a little bit too expensive, so I went for the canned tomatoes and diced chilies. Then I moved on to the frozen section where I was hoping to find a mixed veg that would work for both meals, but I just couldn't find anything that really stood out to me, so I moved on from there. I was considering doing the hard shell tacos, but the soft shell tortillas are just gonna be a lot easier and more versatile. So I tried to find the cheapest one and went with that one. So if you know me, you know I stopped at the clearance section and luckily I found a couple cans of corn for 25 cents each, so that was a huge score. And then I made my way over to the canned vegetable section to see if again I could find something that would fit in both meals. Um, I ended up just getting some sweet peas and then I splurged on some artichoke hearts for the paella because artichoke hearts are amazing and yeah, that's all I really have to say about that. Lastly, for the canned goods, I'm picking up a can of black beans to amp up the protein a little bit for the taco meal. On to the fresh produce. So the recipe that I looked up while I was at the store called for a red bell pepper, but those were too pricey, so I ended up with a green one. And now I'm looking at the fresh mushrooms. I got a container of those. There was some onion on sale for over a dollar, then I found some for just under a dollar, then I finally found some for 68 cents, so that's what I went with. Shocker, technical difficulties. I'm trying to show you everything that I got, but all in all, you can see that I spent $9.76. All right, we are home and this is everything that we got. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a paella, which I've never made before, so who knows how that's gonna turn out. And then I'm also gonna do either quesadillas or some type of taco Mexican dish. So um, luckily I found a couple cans of corn for 25 cents, which was awesome. Everything else you see here was these were about 50 cents each. This was about 70. I splurged on the artichoke hearts because I love them. And those were almost $2. The rice was much cheaper than at the dollar store. It was about 76 cents or something like that. I splurged on a couple fresh ingredients here. This wasn't called for in the recipe, but I just wanted something colorful in there. And these tortillas were actually pretty expensive. They didn't have the, um, grocery store brand or the great value brand available so it probably could have gone for cheaper but all in all I spent nine dollars and 76 cents and we'll see what the meals look like all right so as I'm chopping up some vegetables and getting the Mexican meal started I just want to say that I don't usually shop at Walmart very often 
but I know that it is a store that is obviously very affordable to shop at but not only that it is one of the stores that is going to be the most available depending on the area that you live in so I know that when I lived in Mississippi we had one really small grocery store and then we had a Walmart so I'm just trying to make these videos for everyone and try to reach the broadest audience so that's why I chose Walmart today I'll probably be choosing different stores in the future but just want to give you my reasoning there all right so now that I said my piece there I am actually going to make somewhat of a Spanish rice to go along with my taco dish and what I'm going to do here is just put in about two thirds maybe about three quarters of those tomatoes and chilies and then along with that I'll put a little bit of water in there and just let it my rice cooker do its thing. So the beauty of this meal is that we can kind of mix it up however we want. My husband decided that he wanted quesadillas. So what I'm doing with these black beans, I took about half the can and I mashed them up and I'm going to spread them out on this tortilla. This makes it easier, especially if you're not using cheese, for everything else to kind of stick to it. Um, once you put the other toppings on and then have a top layer, it helps when you are trying to go flip it and everything like that. So the quesadilla is ready to go on the skillet. The rice will just be on there for a side. And then I am going to make a burrito. So when I was at the store, I did look up a paella recipe. I will link it down below, but just know right now, I'm forewarning you, if you try to follow the same recipe, I very loosely went with what was on there. I used whatever vegetables that I could find for cheap and kind of did my own thing. Also, this is what I like to call a poor man's paella because when I read from a different recipe, it said that in order to make paella, you definitely need saffron, and I uh, didn't have that. So this is pretty much just rice and vegetables, but it looks really cool, and it turned out delicious. So it is what it is. Pretty much my main goal with this recipe was to catapult myself back to Puerto Rico on a trip that we took a few years ago and we had this amazing vegetable paella. I didn't quite get there, it didn't quite look the same, but I used a lot of the same vegetables. Um, one of the main things that I read in the recipe that's very important to the paella is, I forget what it's called, but it's essentially the crunchy crust. So. You put the vegetable broth in and just let it sit for up to a half an hour, 45 minutes. Don't stir it, which was really hard for me to do, but it has to mold this crust underneath and that's a very important part of the dish. I was actually really impressed with myself as to how much it looked like I knew what I was doing. It turned out to look like a really exquisite, fancy dish, and if you're from Puerto Rico or Spanish and you usually make this meal, then you're probably like, she crazy, but to me, it looked super tasty. 
So now that the crust is formed at the bottom and the dish is essentially done, the recipe calls for you to put peas on top. It didn't even actually call for artichokes in this, this specific recipe, but I put some on top. It said to put some foil over top, but I just used a silicone mat instead so I can be less wasteful. And this is the final product. that were under $10. Technically, the ingredients that I used, I still had over half a can of artichokes, I had some tortillas left, and I also had some peas. So, of the ingredients that I used, I actually used probably around $8 worth of the ingredients because as you saw, the artichokes and the tortillas were the highest priced items. So technically, I pretty much made both of the meals for under $8 or around $8, which was great. Um, each meal definitely served at least four people. If you have kids, obviously it's gonna serve more, but I just wanted to note that based on it being a family dinner, it did serve at least four different meals. And then I know at the beginning of the video, I mentioned sustainability. I definitely could have bought, for example, a box of rice instead of a bag of rice, but because we were, because I was doing this cheap challenge, I decided to go for the bag of rice because it was cheaper. The boxes of rice were like $2, the bag of rice was like 72 cents. Granted, the box of rice had more in it. Usually when I'm shopping at any other time, not doing these types of challenges, I always shop for the cheapest unit price. And if there's a more sustainable option, then I'll go for that. I was semi low waste, I guess you could say. The plastic was found around the um, mushrooms. I had the rice and then the tortillas, I think was all the plastic that I had. So still more than what I would like to have. I'd like to have none, but everything else came in aluminum. Aluminum is actually one of the most sustainable resources that you can recycle. It can be recycled an unlimited amount of time, which is great, um, but everything else, I'm gonna try to do my best in the future, but I just wanted to full circle come back around on the sustainability topic of things. So that is my whole video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have a certain store that you'd like to see me go do this challenge at next, please leave it in the comments below. Please give me a thumbs up if, and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.